extraordinary memory power of the sons of scholars how can they memorize vast texts such as vedas and upanishads as they are and pass it on to the next generation now latest researchers have unraveled this mystery and named the phenomenon as sanskrit effect here's a doordarshan news exclusive report on sanskrit effect take a look Sanskrit, which literally means perfected or refined, is one of the oldest human languages. Sanskrit is also regarded the world over for its unique way of learning in which large texts are memorized verbatim. The four Vedas, the Upanishads, all have been preserved through this technique. While world over civilizations built large libraries to store knowledge in India through the tradition of Sanskrit, all the knowledge was stored in the human brain and passed from one generation to another. Since ages this has been a mystery to the world. Now through modern scientific research, this mystery seems to be unraveled at last. A study on Sanskrit effect which has been reported in the journal Scientific American has claimed that memorizing Vedic mantras enhances the brain regions associated with cognitive functions such as memory. The term Sanskrit effect was coined by American neuroscientist and Sanskrit scholar James Hartzell. Hartzell studied Sanskrit at Harvard and Columbia universities and cognitive neuroscience at the University of Toronto. He discovered that memorizing Vedic mantras increases the size of the brain regions associated with cognitive processes. Hartzell's report was tested when he and his colleagues from the University of Toronto in Italy collaborated with Dr. Nandini Chatterjee Singh of the National Brain Research Center at Manasar in Haryana. This extensive research has established that through this unique memorizing technique used in traditional Sanskrit learning, brain's capacity significantly increases. What we did was we compared professionally trained Vedic pundits, uh, Yogya Vedic pundits from the Delhi area uh, with carefully matched controls and we found really large differences in their gray matter and cortical thickness um, between the two groups. So this is what's called a cross-sectional study and cross-sectional studies show you that the phenomenon that you're interested in. So in this case we're we're looking is there some relationship of the brain plasticity or the changes in in gray matter um that might occur from this practice. Um can we see such a difference between and and the way you look for that difference is you compare the two groups. Brain ke kaun se structures hain वो बदले हैं औरों के मुकाबले और यहां हम देखते हैं कि जैसे हम लोगों ने सोचा था कि हिपो या मेमोरी का वो हिस्सा जो है वो थोड़ा बड़ा हुआ था ग्रुप ऑफ हाईली स्पेशलाइज्ड मेमोराइजर्स एंड रिसाइटर्स ऑफ वेदिक संस्कृत एंड ऑफ एसोसिएटेड टेक्स्ट्स इज देयर स्ट्रक्चरल प्लास्टिसिटी इन देयर ब्रेन्स that's probably related to that practice and we showed that for sure um we showed very dramatic uh differences in in brain structure now we have a scientific evidence to prove why sanskrit is called the perfect or refined language sunil joshi's report did news